Coming up on High School Quiz Show, we've got Somerville High School. Need to file a claim? With Safety Insurance, you can use the latest technology or you can call your local independent agent. Either way, Safety Insurance is committed to providing customer service that can help you manage life storms. everybody. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Now, back in November, 110 high school teams in Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of only 16 spots in this year's competition. And the goal now is to become the next high school quiz show state champion. And today's matchup has Acton Boxborough Regional High School taking on Somerville High School. And on the Acton Boxborough team, we have Caleb, Amy, Skye, and Pratt with alternate Nathra and coach Rana Berman Byam, everybody. <laughs> and for the Somerville team, we have Alice, Marisa, Max, and Sam with alternates Bobby and Dan and coach Mike Maloney. <laughs> The competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. We will start with a toss-up round. All answers in the round are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So, players, if you're ready, let's play. Which of the seven continents contains most of the world's fresh water in the form of an enormous ice sheet? Alice. Antarctica. Yes, in 2016, what quarterback for the Denver Broncos announced his retirement just one month after winning the Super Bowl? Yes, Sam. Peyton Manning. Yes, what former Hollywood actress founded the Just Say No anti-drug campaign as First Lady of the United States? Yes, Sam. Nancy Reagan. Yes, in 2016, uh, the Goddard Base Tunnel, the longest and deepest rail tunnel in the world, opened in what country? Yes, Caleb. Switzerland. Yes. Now take a look at the screens in front of you. What American physicist pictured here led the development of the first atomic bomb during the Manhattan Project? Yes, Alice. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is right. Uh, set 19 years after the events of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, what was released in 2016 as the eighth installment in the Harry Potter series? Yes, Max. Uh, the Cursed Child. Yes. Uh, Marie Antoinette, the last French queen of the 18th century, was born in what city? Yes, Caleb. Vienna. Yes, in July 2016, more than 6,000 people were arrested after a failed military coup to overthrow what Turkish president? Yes, Pratt. Erdogan. Yes. Uh, what country is the setting for Pearl Buck's Pulitzer Prize winning novel, The Good Earth? Yes, Marisa. Japan. No, you want to try Acton Boxborough? Yes, Pratt. China. China is correct. Uh, again, take a look at your screens and you will see the next question. Hi, I'm Janine Madrid and I'm a senior education associate with the Museum of Science. Here's my question. Which planet in the solar system has a thick atmosphere made up almost entirely of carbon dioxide and has a surface temperature hot enough to melt lead? And Max. Uh, Venus. Venus is right. What Virginia suburb would you head to in order to train as an FBI agent, a DEA agent, or a marine officer? Yes, Max. Quantico. Quantico is right. In June 2016, in a dramatic 5-3 ruling, the Supreme Court struck down parts of a restrictive abortion law in what southern state? Yes, Caleb. Texas? Yes. Franz Kafka lived in Prague but wrote all of his works, including The Trial and Metamorphosis, in what language? Yes, Caleb. Russian? No. Somerville, you want to try? Marisa? German. Yes, German is right. 
The loudness of a sound is determined by which of the following properties of a sound wave. Is it A, amplitude, B, frequency, or C, wavelength? Yes, Alice. Amplitude. That is correct. Math question. What is the prime factorization of 81? Yes, Max. Uh, 3333? Three, 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 three. Yes. When the Revenue Act of 1935 took effect, its highest income tax bracket, 75%, Applied to just one person, what founder of Standard Oil? Yes, Max. Carnegie? No. Acton Boxborough, you want to try it? Yes, Amy. Rockefeller? Yes. Spain and Luxembourg currently have monarchs who belong to what royal dynasty that was overthrown during the French Revolution? Yes, Pratt. Habsburg? No, Somerville? Marisa? Bourbon. That's correct. Forever known as Mr. Hockey, what four-time Stanley Cup champion with the Detroit Red Wings passed away in 2016 at the age of 88? Yes, Guy. Gordy Howe. Yes. Uh, located on the Gulf of Mexico, Mobile is the only seaport of what U.S. state? Yes, Max? Alabama. Yes. Uh, which of the following diseases is spread by droplet? Is it A, cystic fibrosis, B, yellow fever, or C, meningitis? Yes, Caleb. Um, B. No, Somerville. Yes, C. Alice. C. C. Meningitis is right. Uh, honor, self-discipline, and bravery are the basis of what samurai code of conduct that means the way of the warrior? Yes, Alice. Bushido. Yes, in 2016, along with collaborator Mark Ronson, what R&B singer took home a Grammy Award for Record of the Year for Uptown Funk? Yes, Alice. Bruno Mars. Yes. Math question. Uh, during one season, a football kicker successfully completed nine out of 15 field goal attempts from a distance of 40 yards. What was his field goal percentage? Yes, Pratt. 60%. Yes. Which planet in the solar system has 14 known moons, including Naiad and Nereid? Yes, Pratt. Uh, Neptune. Yes. In 2002, President George W. Bush secretly authorized warrantless wiretapping on American citizens, which many saw as a violation of what constitutional amendment? Yes, Pratt. Fourth Amendment. Yes. In the Six-Day War of 1967, what country captured the Sinai Peninsula, the Golan Heights, and the Gaza Strip? Yes, Marisa. Israel. Yes. In F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby, what is Gatsby's first name? Yes, Pratt. J. Yes. The Mount Everest north-based camp is in Tibet. The south-based camp is in what country? Nepal. Yes, Marisa, Nepal. In 1835, who became the first American president to face an assassination attempt? Yes, Sam. McKinley? No, Acton Boxborough, you want to try it? Yes, Pratt. Uh, Jackson. Yes, Andrew Jackson. In 1968, Leonid Brezhnev ordered the invasion of Czechoslovakia to halt the Prague Spring. Nearly all Soviet allies from what 1955 military pact also participated in the invasion. Yes, Alice. The Warsaw Pact? Yes. Uh, the allegory of the cave appears in book seven of what work by Plato? Yes, Alice. Uh... Uh, the Republic. <laughs> yes. Uh, the ACL is a ligament in the knee that connects the femur to what bone commonly called the shin bone? Yes, Alice. The tibia? Yes, tibia is correct. Approximately 80% of New Orleans was flooded after the city was hit by Katrina, a Category 5 hurricane that struck in August of what year? Yes, Guy? 2005. Yes. Uh, what is the name? Oh! That's the end of round one. The score right now, Acton, Boxborough, 130 points. Somerville High School, 200 points. We've got a good game here, everybody. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next. First, we're going to take a little breather. I've got a question. Each of the contestants will have a chance to answer. Let's have a little fun with this. We're going to start with Acton Boxborough. And here you go, Caleb. If you had the opportunity to take a private tour of any building in the world, what would it be? And who would be your tour guide? So I'd go to the Kremlin because I've heard they've got some interesting files on our new president. And <laughs> I, would, I would take Tom Brady as the tour guide. Oh, nice. <laughs> Amy, how about you? I'd go to the Palace of Westminster, which is the uh, British Parliament building, mm -hmm. because with the recent events, I think it would be really interesting to learn about British government more. And 
I think I would also take Tom Brady with me. <laughs> All right, I see a theme coming. Uh, Sky, how about you? So I think I'd go to the Hockey Hall of Fame in Toronto because uh, hockey is my favorite sport. I think it's the greatest sport in the world. Um, I would also take Tom Brady. Of course you would. <laughs> uh, Pratt, where are you going and with who? Uh, I'd actually go to the Baseball Hall of Fame because that's actually the greatest sport in the world. Yeah. And uh, I'd take uh, Tom Brady. Yeah, and, <laughs> and why not? Uh, over to Somerville High School we go and Alice. I would like a tour of the hallowed halls of the headquarters of the Department of Health and Human Services by my hero, the legendary Sylvia Matthews Burwell, the former secretary. Wow. <laughs> Boy, you gave that some thought. And Marisa? Um, I would like um, to be taken on a tour by um, Secretary Anthony Fox, uh -huh. um, a very illustrious man of the Department of Transportation, because I want to see the place <laughs> that makes America run on time. OK, and Max? Um, I would like a tour of the Department of, of Agriculture course. by uh, <laughs> my hero, former Secretary of Agriculture, Tom Vilsack. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you've got all the wings covered so far. How about you, Sam? Uh, I think I'd like a, a private tour of the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development by the, the great hero, former Secretary Julian Castro. <laughs> all righty then. Uh, we're going to play head-to-head. -head. It is the head-to-head -head round, so Acton, Boxborough, and Somerville High School. Come on down and let's go. <laughs> About to go head to head, I do have Somerville High School to my left, Acton Boxborough Regional High School to my right. Very nice wave, Caleb. Uh, why don't you guys shake hands, and that's how we'll start things off. As a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds. And here we go. Good luck. What country is the main setting for the Shakespeare play Macbeth? Yes. Scotland. Yes. The great astronomer Copernicus was born in 1473 in what present-day country? Italy. Yeah. No, Poland. Uh, most major earthquakes occur along the edges of which ocean? Yes. Pacific. Yes. Uh, what founding father is depicted on the U.S. $100 bill? Yes. Benjamin Franklin. Yes. In 2016, within hours of the Brexit vote, who said he would step down as British? Yes. David Cameron. Yes. Uh, what radioactive metallic element has the chemical symbol CF? California. Yes. yes. Uh, which member of the Supreme Court is the Chief Justice of the United... Yes. John Roberts. Yes. Astronauts John Glenn and Alan Shepard are featured in what? 1979 book by Tom Wolfe. The right stuff. Uh, what country is the birthplace of soccer superstar Lionel Messi? Yes. Spain. No, Argentina. In the third century AD, what emperor split the Roman Empire in two? Diocletian. Uh, Brown University and the Rhode Island School of Design are both located in what capital city? Yes. Providence. Yes. Uh, what prominent Puritan minister wrote Memorable Providences, a book that fueled the Salem witch hysteria? Uh. Cotton Mather. On the geological time scale, what is the largest division of time? Eon. Yes. Uh, what Oklahoma high school student got a D in creative writing? And that ends round two. The score right now, Acton Boxborough, 160 points, Somerville High School, 230 points. How about it, folks? <laughs> Next up is the category round with the following categories. Hello, Dolly. Take it to the bridge. Baked Alaska. The Fab Five. Rhetorical questions. And Yeti or not. Each category has five questions with increasing point values and players, you can confer with your teammates. But once you buzz in, you are no longer allowed to confer, and we will need your answer. Act in Boxborough, you've got a little ground to make up. You get to choose the first category, so what's it going to be? We'll go with Fab Five. The Fab Five. OK, all answers are five-letter words. And for 10 points, in geometry, what type of angle measures between 0 and 90 degrees? Yes, Mac. Acute. Acute is right. And now, Somerville, you get the board. Category? Fab Five. Fab Five for 15 points. Anne Frank wrote her celebrated diary in what language? Yes, Marisa. Dutch. Dutch is correct. You've still got the board. Somerville. 
category. Hello, Dolly. We're jumping to Hello, Dolly. This is a new category for the round. And uh, these are questions about toys and games. And for 10 points, long criticized for its unrealistic body proportions, uh, what iconic doll now comes in three new sizes, tall, petite, and curvy? Yes, Pratt. Barbie. Barbie, of course. And now Acton Boxborough, you've got the board. Category? Uh, Fab Five. Going back to the Fab Five this time for 20 points. Around 621 BC, uh, what Athenian lawgiver instituted a harsh legal code that punished even trivial crimes such as stealing an apple with death? Yes, Pratt. Solon. No, Somerville, you want to try it? Plato. No, Draco. And now Acton Boxborough, you get the board. Category? Fab Five. Fab Five for 25 points. Once called the greatest poet of the 20th century in any language, the poet Pablo Neruda wrote in Spanish and was from what country? Yes, Pratt. Chile. Chile is right. In Boxborough, you get the board. Category? Fab Five. Fab Five, this time for 30 points. Uh, the human body has two networks of capillaries. One carries blood and the other carries what colorless fluid containing white blood cells? Yes, Pratt. Lymph. Lymph is right. And you've got the board. You'll need another category. Uh, rhetorical questions. Okay. New category for the round. Questions about American rhetoric and for 10 points. In his first inaugural address, who said, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself? Yes, Max. FDR. That's correct. Now you've got the board Somerville category. Yeti or not. Yeti or not. New category for the round. Questions about legendary creatures. And for 10 points, also known as the abominable snowman, the Tibetan Yeti is a mythical monster that's said to inhabit what mountain range? Yes, Pratt. Himalayas. Yes, in Acton Boxborough, you get the board. Uh, rhetorical questions. Okay, uh, we'll go back to rhetorical questions, uh, this time for 15 points. Uh, in 1775, in Richmond, Virginia, what American patriot gave a rousing speech that ended with one of the most famous lines in history, give me liberty or give me death? Yes, Alice. Patrick Henry. Yes, and now you've got the board Somerville category. Uh, baked Alaska. Baked Alaska. And this is a new category for the round. And uh, questions about climate change. For 10 points in March 2016, during an unusually warm winter, Alaska had to bring in truckloads of snow for what annual long-distance dog sled race? Yes, Alice. Yeah, I did a rod. Yes, and you've still got the board category. Let's take it to the bridge. Take it to the bridge. Uh, questions about bridges and uh, for 10 points. What suspension bridge that opened in 1937 is one of the most internationally recognized symbols of San Francisco? Yes, Marisa. The Golden Gate Bridge. Yes, you've still got the board Somerville category. Hello, Dolly. Okay, this time for 15 points. In 2016, Amazon announced it would offer full refunds for what electric self-balancing scooters that have been implicated in multiple fires and or explosions? Yes, Amy. Hoverboards. Correct. And now, Acton Boxborough, you get the board. Category? Rhetorical questions. Okay, this time for 20 points. Uh, in 1995, who traveled to Beijing, China, and proudly proclaimed human rights are women's rights and women's rights are human rights once and for all. Yes, Max. Hillary Clinton. Yes, and now Somerville, you get the board. Um, hello, Dolly. Hello, Dolly. This time, 20 points at stake. Uh, what augmented reality game that gets you walking outside and possibly even talking to real people is now the biggest mobile game in US history? Yes, Sam. Pokemon Go. Yes, and you've got the board Somerville category. Uh, take it to the bridge. 15 points. Uh, what Australian city's famed Harbour Bridge crosses Port Jackson, the world's largest natural harbour? Yes, Amy. Sydney. Sydney is right. In Acton Boxborough, you get the board. Category? Rhetorical questions. For 25 points. My fellow Americans, our long national nightmare is over. Who said this in his 1974 inaugural address? Yes, Marisa. Ford. Gerald Ford is right. Somerville, you've got the board. Category? Uh, baked Alaska. Uh, baked Alaska this time for 15 points. According to uh, the EPA, what is the primary greenhouse gas emitted through human activities? Yes, Max. CO2. Yes, that's correct. And you've still got the board, Somerville.
Uh, hello, Dolly. Hello, Dolly. 25 points uh, after seeing an engine spring slide off a table on a rolling ship. What toy did U.S. Navy engineer Richard James invent in 1945? Yes, Alice. The slinky. The slinky, of course. And Somerville, you've still got the board category. Yeti or not. Yeti or not. 15 points. Uh, what mythological creature with a lion's body and a woman's head was an important image in Egyptian and Greek art? Yes, Marisa. Oh, where's the sphinx? Where's the sphinx? <laughs> sphinx is right. <laughs> Category Somerville. Um, Yeti or not. Yeti or not for 20 points. In Greek mythology, what beautiful yet dangerous sea nymphs lured sailors with their singing to shipwreck on the rocky coast of their island? Yes, Max. Sirens. Sirens is right. Somerville, you've got the board. Category. Uh, baked Alaska. Baked Alaska. Uh, this time for 20 points. Which of the following gases in the Earth's atmosphere does not trap heat? Is it A, nitrogen, B, water vapor, or C, methane? Yes, Amy. A, nitrogen. A, nitrogen is correct. In Acton, Boxborough, you get the board. Category? Rhetorical questions. And this is 30 points. In a 1964 speech called The Ballot or the Bullet, who encouraged African Americans to stand up for their right to vote, even if it meant taking up arms to do so? Yes, Alice. Malcolm X. Yes. Uh, Somerville, you've got the board. You'll need a category. Take it to the bridge. Take it to the bridge for 20 points. Completed in 1973. The Bosphorus Bridge is an intercontinental bridge in what Turkish city at the crossroads of Europe and Asia? Yes, Alice. Istanbul. Yes, that's correct. Category, please. Somerville. Yeti or not. Yeti or not for 25 points. In Norse mythology, what is the name of the wolf who consumes the god Odin during Ragnarok? Yes, Guy. Fenrir. Yes, that's correct. And now Acton Boxborough, you've got the board. Yeti or not. Yeti or not. This is 30 points right here. Spanish for goat sucker. What beast from Latin America folklore supposedly attacks and drinks the blood of livestock, especially goats? Yes, Alice. Chupacabra. Chupacabra is right, and Somerville, you got the board. Baked Alaska. Baked Alaska for 25 points. What Spanish term is used to describe a periodic uh, warming of the tropical Pacific Ocean that can greatly affect the world's climate? Yes, Alice. El Nino. El Nino. <laughs> Yes. C uh, category, Somerville? Take it to the bridge. Take it to the bridge for 25. What 1977 novel by Katherine Patterson is about two lonely children who invent a secret fantasy land across a creek in the woods? Yes, Marisa. Bridge to Terabinthia. Yes, and you've got the board, Somerville. Up. And yet, there's the end of the category round. The score right now, Acton Boxborough Regional High School, 290 points. Somerville High School, 500 50 points, how about it, <laughs> Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay, the lightning round. Now, you get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers, teams, will cost you 20 points. The clock is set. Good luck, and here we go. What god is the Roman equivalent of the Greek god Zeus? Yes, Pratt. Jupiter. Yes. Two Sisters, also called The Visit, was painted in 1902 by what artist during his blue period? Yes, Guy. Picasso. Yes. In June 2016, the International Olympic Committee supported a ban on track athletes from what country? Russia. Yes. Uh, the 1775 Battle of Bunker Hill was mainly fought on... Breed Hill. Yes, Guy. Breed Hill. Yes. How many yards are equal to one mile? Yes, Pratt. 1,760. Yes, what Tennessee Williams play is about an aging southern belle named Blanche uh, Dubois. Yeah, Alice. Uh, it's Streetcar Named Desire. Yes. Uh, Gibraltar is British, but is physically located. Spain. Yes. yes. Uh, what legendary music producer dubbed the fifth Beatle passed away in 2016 at the age of 90? Yes, Pratt. Uh, Ringo. No, Sir George Martin. Uh, what country is home to the Dolomites Mountain Range? Yes, Marisa. Greece. No, Italy. Uh, what 1842 treaty ended the first opium war and gave Hong Kong to Britain? Treaty of Nanking? Yes. In uh, 2007, who became the first woman to serve as Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives? Pelosi. Yes, Caleb. Yes, Nancy Pelosi. What four-letter word refers to a cylindrical tent traditionally used by Mongolian nomads? Yes. Yur Yes, in 1781, what German-born British astronomer discovered the planet Uranus? Yes, Pratt. Uh, Kepler. 
No, Sir William Herschel. In the NFL, how many players can a football team have? Yes, Pratt. 53. 11, but that is the bell ending the game this week. Uh, Somerville High School, the winner, with 630 points. The runner-up, Acton Boxborough Regional High School, their score this week, 330 points. Congratulations to both teams. Somerville High School now moves on to play in the quarterfinals. Make sure you tune in. We'll see you all back here next week for a high school quiz show, everybody. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Buying insurance shouldn't be a race against time. These are the most important assets you're protecting. You can talk to an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. of WGBH.